Hey, it's Matthias with Toast here with another installation video for you. Today I'm going to show you how to transform your MacBook with a Toast real wood cover. We'll be installing this gorgeous walnut cover on the brand new MacBook Air M2. The installation is very similar with all the MacBooks, especially the newer M1, M2 models. You can get it in six different woods. We also offer it in leather, engraved with custom text, even put your logo or artwork or pictures of your cats engraved on there. So included in your kit from Toast is our main cover panel. We also opted for the bottom cover. And then inside we have a kit including side wraps, little feet covers, and then a couple options here. Here we have a screen surround and a trackpad surround. Also included are a couple alcohol wipes for cleaning your device before installing the cover. You want a rag for cleaning the alcohol and either a box cutter or a pair of scissors. So to start off we're going to clean the MacBook to make sure we get a good bond between the cover and the laptop itself. We want to get all the grease and oils off of it. And mostly we're actually going to be focused on the edges because those are the more difficult areas to bond to. The big flat surface areas is not such a problem. So once that's clean, we'll just grab a rag and make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, so the first step in installing your toast cover is the main top cover. The alignment is very simple. It's just right to the edges of the laptop. Don't align to the Apple logo. Use the edges of the laptop and then the Apple logo will be perfect. So to start, peel off the backing paper and there are long strips of paper left behind. These help both with installation and removal when you're ready to remove the cover from your laptop. So then what we're gonna do is just line up with that bottom hinge edge. So starting with the bottom corner, we're just gonna set it in and then lay it along, getting that aligned nicely with that bottom edge of the laptop there. I just like to run my fingers along those edges, aligning it up and then around to the front. And that's it. That's your main cover. So then we'll do the bottom cover. So the bottom cover is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. We're gonna align to the feet there between all of them and get them all perfectly aligned, okay? So when you're ready to go, just flip it over and peel off that backing paper, remove it all, except for those long strips. And then we're just gonna align to that foot and then take it over, make sure it's aligned to the next one. And then the next one, so you can shift it a little bit if you need to. Now we've got all four of these perfectly aligned and we can just press the cover down. And the nice thing is we left the screws accessible as well as the edge of this allows that whole panel to come off for servicing. So now we have the sides of the laptop to wrap. And so Toast includes a kit of all those parts that you need. We need to just separate these and there's just little perforated sections holding these pieces together, see there? So my preferred method for separating these is with a box cutter and I'm just gonna stick my knife in there and run along that perforation. You can also do it from the other side if you prefer where you can actually see better between the parts. There's just those little tabs in between them. You can do this with scissors as well. So that separates all of our wrap pieces and then left we have this card that has the four feet. So I like to start with the hinge piece. It's got the corners cut out like this to match up right to the hinge on the MacBook. So peel off that backing paper and then take that part, install it right to the seams through to the other side. So then we're gonna take the two long skinny pieces and these continue from where the hinge piece left off right there. So just butt that up to where the hinge piece was and then wrap it around the edge and then around the side and the wood is scored to fold and wrap around that. So now we'll just turn around and do the other side, aligning it to where you left off with the hinge piece. And then that just leaves one last piece on the lid here, the skinny top piece that goes between them. We're just picking up where that last one left off and applying this along that top edge. And then it'll meet up with the other piece. 
Great. So now we're going to do the sides. So it's good to put your laptop up on edge. First, we'll do the one with the headphone cut out. So peel off that backing paper. And you want to peel it off carefully and make sure all of it comes off. Sometimes the little corners stick on there. So it helps to peel the paper off slowly. So now we will start with this hinge piece and I'm using the previous wrap as my alignment. You see how that first score line here, I get them lined up nicely and then that cut out around the stereo jack. And then I'm just laying it down, getting a good seam right at the edge of the laptop. You just want it flush along that front edge. So now you're going to roll it over the edge and then just push those little wing pieces together to form the corner, helping all that take the curvature of the MacBook. And then on the back side, you're going to roll it over. It leaves a gap there in the hinge. That's intentional because you need clearance for the lid there. So just make sure that's nice and even and then push all those parts down. And then we'll do the other side. So this is the side that has the MagSafe charger port and USBs. Peel off that backing paper again. And then we're gonna use those score lines to kind of help line it up. Press that long end into the laptop and then we'll roll the back side of that wrap on and then push all those corner pieces into place. Just flip it around. And then we get the last little wing here to do. Roll the wrap on and then press down those little wing pieces. All right, last wrap piece is that front edge that has the finger indent cut out. Peel off the backing paper and we can just lay that on. All right, so that's that. And then the very last piece is the little covers that we have for these rubber feet. Just peel off that backing paper off the back of the card here. And you'll see those feet kind of pop out individually. I'll just put this on here. You can shift it around if you need to to get it perfect. So that covers the entire outside of your MacBook, but maybe you want to cover the inside as well. We have a trackpad surround and an optional screen surround to add some wood to the inside of your MacBook. So we'll start with that trackpad surround. This has a panel here where the trackpad is protecting it because it's such thin pieces. So again, like the wrap kits, it's held on by tiny little tabs, which we'll just cut quickly to release this. There's four little tabs, put the knife in the slot and run it across there. Cutting those tabs, same with the other side. You can also just kind of twist it and break it off, but I think it's cleaner cutting it with the knife. So installation, you're gonna be aligning with the trackpad and that indent first, and then do the edges last. Peel off that backing paper. Be careful because the thin sections are somewhat fragile until installed on your laptop. So then we're going to get that aligned really nicely, focusing on that bottom edge of the trackpad down here and then laying it down, getting that top edge and then the outer edges. There you go. Now you got nice wood rests for your palms. Lastly, we have our screen surround kit, which is four pieces that creates a nice frame around the glass screen. So again, this is a kit that you're gonna wanna separate the parts. So we'll just put that on our cutting mat and we're just gonna pull the knife through, cutting these long strips into separate components. You can see they all separate out now. So we're gonna start with that top section. This has a little notch in the top and the rounded corners. Peel off that backing paper and we'll just set that into the corner there and then just lay that along the little rubber edge on the screen all the way to the other side. So then next we have the side pieces. There's two mirror pieces. So all of these have little notched pieces, like puzzle pieces to notch in and form a nice connection. Also check the bottom. This one has the puzzle piece going in for the next piece that will go on the bottom. Set that in there and then lay that wood down nicely along the edge. And then we'll do the opposite side. So then lastly, we have the bottom piece, which is also notched to interlock with the side panels. And again, start with that interlock and then lay that wood down nicely along the edge and then it will interlock on the other side. And there you go, you have a nice wood frame around the screen, track pads around. So now we got our inside dialed in with gorgeous wood to match the outside. And you can tell this is real wood because it's got a knot here. It's got a unique grain pattern. Every single piece is unique reflecting the growth of that tree. And don't forget, we have a Butterfingers replacement policy. So if you screw this process up, don't worry. You can just send us a picture and we will send you a replacement cover. 
So what do you think? Is there another device you'd like to see toasted? Let us know in the comments below.